Welcome to my channel, G Info. For latest celebrity and entertainment news, visit my website www.celebrity-profile.com. In this video, I am going to reveal the top 10 Nigerian billionaires in 2021. This list is compiled from Wikipedia referencing the American business magazine Forbes. 1. Leo Stan Aka. His full name is Leonard Stanley Namdi Aka. He is a native of Imo State. He was born on February 22, 1956. He is 65 years in 2021. He is the founder and chairman of Zinox Group. He is also the chairman of Conga.com. Leo Stan Aka attended Holy Ghost College, Oweri, and obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics from Punjab University, India. Leo Stan Aka whose source of wealth is from internet services and e-commerce has a net worth of $1 billion in 2021. Leo Stan Aka started Zinox Technologies Limited in 2001 to manufacture computers. He ensured that at launch Zinox Computers already had the WHQL certification, the first in Sub-Saharan Africa, consolidated five years later with the attainment of the NIS ISO 2000. 9001 QMS certification. In October 2013, the company announced the production of its computer tablet line named Zipad. In February 2018, Aka's company Zinox acquired Conga.com from its owners buying 99% of the total company shares. 2. Pascal Dozi. His full name is Pascal Gabriel Dozi. He is a native of Imo State. He was born on April 9, 1939. He is 82 years in 2021. He is the founder of Diamond Bank and the chairman of Pan Atlantic University. Pascal Dozi attended Holy Ghost Junior 8 Seminary and Holy Ghost College, Oweri, where he obtained his West African Senior School Certificate Examination. He obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics from the London School of Economics. Subsequently, he attended City University in London where he studied operational research and industrial engineering and got a master's degree in administrative science. Pascal Dozi, whose source of wealth is from financial services, telecommunications has a net worth of $1 billion in 2021. Pascal Dozi began his career as an economist at the National Economic Development Office in the United Kingdom, a part-time lecturer at the Northwestern Polytechnic, London. He later relocated to Nigeria where he launched his first company African Development Consulting Group, ADCG, which brought about Diamond Bank in 1985. He currently owns shares in MTN Group. 3. Folorunso Alakija. Her full name is Folorunso Alakija. She is of Yoruba origin, probably Lagos State. She was born on July 15, 1951. She is 70 years old in 2021. She is the group managing director of the Rose of Sharon Group which consists of the Rose of Sharon Prince and Promotions Limited, Digital Reality Prince Limited, and the executive vice chairman of FAMFA Oil Limited. Folorunso Alakija attended her primary education at De Norban School for Girls in Hafidunos Hall in Langerney, Wales between 1959 and 1963. On the completion of her primary education, Folorunsho attended Muslim High School in Sagamo, Ogun State, Nigeria. She then returned to England for her secretarial studies at Pittman Central College, London. Folorunso Alakija whose source of wealth is fashion, oil, real estate, printing industries has a net worth of $1 billion in 2021. Folorunsho Alakija started her career in 1974 as an executive secretary at Sijwad Enterprises, Lagos, Nigeria shortly after completing a secretarial course at Pittman Central College London. She moved to the former First National Bank of Chicago, which later became FinBank now acquired by FCMB, First City Monument Bank, as the executive secretary to the managing director. Folorunsho returned to London to study fashion design at the American College in London and the Central School of Fashion. She later started her fashion design label known as Supreme Sticks which was renamed the Rose of Sharon House of Fashion in 1996. She acquired Oil Prospecting License OPL, 
in 1993 to explore oil. 4. Jimmo Ibrahim. His full name is Jimmo Ibrahim. He is a native of Ondo State. He was born on February 24, 1967. She is 54 years old in 2021. He is the chairman and chief executive officer of Global Fleet Group, a diversified conglomerate based in Nigeria, with business interests and subsidiaries in neighboring West African countries. Jimmo Ibrahim studied law at Obafemi Awolowo University in Alifa, Osun State, Nigeria, graduating with the degree of Bachelor of Laws, LLB. Subsequently, he obtained the degree of Master of Public Administration, MPA, also from Obafemi Awolowo University. Later, he attended Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, graduating with a combined Master of Laws, LLM, and Master's in International Taxation degree. Jimmo Ibrahim whose source of wealth is from oil and gas, real estate, and insurance has a net worth of $1 billion in 2021. Global Fleet Group has the following subsidiary companies. Air Nigeria Lagos, Nigeria, formerly Virgin Nigeria. Nikon Insurance Lagos, Nigeria. Nigeria Reinsurance Corporation Lagos, Nigeria. Nikon Luxury Hotel Abuja, Nigeria, formerly Lug Meridian Hotel. Global Fleet Oil and Gas, a chain of gasoline stations. The Nikon Group, Lagos, Nigeria, holdings include investment companies, schools, real estate holdings, transport companies and others. Global Fleet Building, Lagos, Nigeria, formerly Allied Bank Building. Maidan Hotel, Lagos, Nigeria. Global Fleet Industries, Lagos, Nigeria, formerly HFP Industries Limited. Energy Bank, Accra, Ghana, a new commercial bank in Ghana. Oceanic Bank, Newswatch Magazine, Lagos, Nigeria. 5. Orji User Kalu. His full name is Orji User Kalu. He is a native of Abia State, he was born on April 21, 1960. He is 61 years old in 2021. He is the chairman of SLOK Holding, The Daily Sun and New Telegraph Newspapers in Nigeria. He served as the governor of Abia State, Nigeria from May 29, 1999 to May 29, 2007. Orji Yuzer Kalu attended Christ the King School ABA and Government College Umwahia. After studying at Berwa College, Zaria, he enrolled in the University of Maiduguri where he studied political science. Orji Yuzer Kalu, whose source of wealth is from furniture manufacturing, transportation, oil trading has a net worth of $1 billion in 2021. With only $35 to his name that he had borrowed from his mother, Kalu began trading palm oil, first buying the oil from Nigeria's eastern regions and then selling it in the country's northern regions. He then began buying and reselling furniture on a large scale. Kalu eventually established SLOK Holding, a conglomerate that would consist of a number of successful companies, including the OGLX Furniture Company, SLOK Nigeria Limited, SLOK United Kingdom Limited, Adamoa Publishers Limited, SLOK Vegetable Oil, ABA, SLOK Paper Factory, ABA, SLOK United States Incorporated, SLOK Ghana, Togo, Cotonou, Guinea, South Africa, Liberia, Botswana, SLOK Korea, Supreme Oil Limited, SLOK Airlines, Sun Publishing Limited, and First International Bank Limited. 6. Tony Ilumalu. His full name is Tony Anyamachi Ilumalu. He is a native of Delta State. He was born on March 22, 1963. He is 58 years old in 2021. He has two degrees in economics from Nigerian universities, a bachelor's degree from Ambrose Alley University and a Master of Science degree from the University of Lagos. Tony Alumalu, whose source of wealth is from financial services, energy, real estate, agribusiness has a net worth of $1.4 billion in 2021. Alumalu started his career in Union Bank as a youth corp member of the National Youth Service Corps in 1985. In his early career, he acquired Standard Trust Bank in 2005 and United Bank for Africa, UBA, was acquired afterwards. Following his retirement from UBA in 2010, 
he founded Ayers Holdings, which invests in the financial services, energy, real estate and hospitality, agribusiness, and healthcare sectors. In the same year, he established the Tony Alumalu Foundation, an Africa-based and African-funded philanthropic organization. 7. Abdul Samad Rabiu His full name is Abdul Samad Isayaku Rabiu. Abdul Samad Rabiu was born on August 4, 1960. He is 61 years old in 2021. He is a native of Kano State. Abdul Samad Rabiu is the founder and chairman of BUA Group, a Nigerian conglomerate concentrating on manufacturing, infrastructure, and agriculture, and producing a revenue in excess of $2.5 billion. He is also the chairman of the Nigerian Bank of Industry, BOI. His late father, Khalifa Isayaku Rabiu, was one of Nigeria's foremost industrialists in the 1970s and 1980s. Abdul Samad Abdul Samad Rabiu was born on August 4, 1960. He is 61 years old in 2021. He is a native of Kano State. Abdul Samad Rabiu grew up in Kano, in the northwestern part of Nigeria, where he obtained his early education. He attended Capital University in Columbus, Ohio and returned to Nigeria at the age of 24 to oversee the family business. This was when his father Isaiah Rabiu was being detained by the administration of General Muhammadu Buhari for allegedly not paying rice import duties. Abdul Samad Rabiu, whose source of wealth is from financial services, energy, real estate, agribusiness cement production, sugar refining and real estate has a net worth of $5.5 billion in 2021. Abdul Samad Rabiu established BUA International Limited in 1988 for the sole purpose of commodity trading. The company imported rice, edible oil, flour, and iron and steel. In 1990, the government, which owned Delta Steel Company, contracted with BUA to supply its raw materials in exchange for finished products. This provided a much-needed windfall for the young company. BUA expanded further into steel, producing billets, importing iron ore, and constructing multiple rolling mills in Nigeria. A few years later, BUA acquired Nigerian Oil Mills Limited, the largest edible oil processing company in Nigeria. In 2005 BUA started two flour milling plants, in Lagos and in Kano. By 2008, BUA had broken an eight-year monopoly in the Nigerian sugar industry by commissioning the second-largest sugar refinery in Sub-Saharan Africa. In 2009 the company went on to acquire a controlling stake in a publicly listed cement company in northern Nigeria and began to construct a $900 million cement plant in Edo State, completing it in early 2015. 8. Alifa Karaboyigbo. He is popularly known as Oil Money. He was born on May 21, 1981. He is 40 years old in 2021. He is a native of Rivers State but resides in London with his family. He is a British business magnate, real estate, DJ, event promoter, philanthropist and investor. Oil Money is the founder of Oil Money Records, a record label that deal with signing and raising young talents. Alifa Karaboyigbo, whose source of wealth is from entertainment, oil and gas, real estate and car dealer has a net worth of $6.1 billion in 2021. 9. Mike Adenuga. His full name is Michael Adeni Agbele Dishola Adenuga Jr. He was born on April 29, 1953. He is 68 years old in 2021. He is a native of Ogun State. His company Globacom is Nigeria's second-largest telecom operator, which has a presence in Ghana and Benin. He owns stakes in the Equatorial Trust Bank and the oil exploration firm Con Oil, formerly Consolidated Oil Company. Adenuga received his secondary school education at Ibadan Grammar School, Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria and Comprehensive High School, Ayatoro, for his higher school certificate, HSC. He worked as a taxi driver to help fund his university education. He graduated from Northwestern Oklahoma State University and Pace University, New York, with degrees in business administration. 
Mike Adenuga, whose source of wealth is from telecommunication has a net worth of $6.3 billion in 2021. Adenuga made his first million in 1979, at age 26, selling lace and distributing soft drinks. In 1990, he received a drilling license and in 1991, his consolidated oil struck oil in the shallow waters of southwestern Ondo State, the first indigenous oil company to do so in commercial quantity. He was issued a conditional GSM license in 1999, after it was revoked, he received a second one when the government held another auction in 2003. His telecom company Globacom spread quickly and started challenging the giant MTN Group. It launched services in Benin in 2008, and has continued its spread across Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire, with more licenses currently being prospected in other West African countries. 10. Aliko Dangote his full name is Aliko Dangote. Aliko Dangote was born on April 10, 1957. He is 64 years old in 2021. He is a native of Kano State. He is the wealthiest person in Africa. Aliko Dangote was born into the wealthy Muslim family of the Nigerian bourgeoisie, the son of Muhammad Dangote and Maria Sanusi Dantata, the daughter of Sanusi Dantata. He is the great-grandson of Alhassan Dantata, the richest West African at the time of his death in 1955. Dangote was educated at the Sheikh Ali Kumasi Madrasa, followed by Capital High School, Kano. In 1978, he graduated from the government college, Bernin Kudu. He received a bachelor's degree in business studies and administration from al Azhar University, Cairo. Aliko Dangote, whose source of wealth is from sugar, flour and cement, has a net worth of $12.1 billion in 2021. The Dangote Group was established as a small trading firm in 1977, the same year Dangote relocated to Lagos to expand the company. Today, it is a multi-trillion naira conglomerate with many of its operations in Benin, Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia and Togo. Dangote has expanded to cover food processing, cement manufacturing, and freight. The Dangote Group also dominates the sugar market in Nigeria and is a major supplier to the country's soft drink companies, breweries, and confectioners. The Dangote Group has moved from being a trading company to be the largest industrial group in Nigeria including Dangote Sugar Refinery, Dangote Cement, and Dangote Flour. You just went through our list of 2021 top 10 Nigerian billionaires and their profile. Please apologies if any of the names was wrongly pronounced. Do visit our channel for subsequent related videos as we pledge to keep you informed. Don't forget to support us by subscribing to our channel. Drop a comment and like this video. See you in our next video.